Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. In a prior video, I showed the installation of a PL259 on Heliax. And some guys wrote and said that I should have used an N connector because the losses were so much lower. I don't know that to be the case, and so that's what I want to discover now is uh, what is the difference in losses. So I put together uh, roughly 22 uh, end connectors in an equal number of, uh, slightly small number actually, of um, UHF male, PL259, bulkheads, PL258, double female, double male, that kind of thing. And so what are the losses in this group, it's about 20 inches altogether, in this identical group at the same length, which has the the greater loss at, uh, well, let's look at 20 meters, and then let's look at 10 meters and uh, VHF maybe. From then on, I, I don't care much, but I want to see what the losses are. So is there a difference, difference between these two? So I'm going to stop the camera, hook up the, uh, uh, nano BNA. I'm going to connect directly to um, the first connector so I will calibrate the device for this connection being made right at the top. All right so let's do that let's see what happens and uh, see if there's any surprises who knows. Okay let's set this up we're going to do let's do around 30 megahertz so uh, let's see 29 to 30 and I did calibrate it and let's do the um, end connectors first and I've got 29 to 30 megahertz and let's sweep and see what comes up okay so the return loss was 0 0.044 let's sweep that again 0 0.048, 5, 2, 4, 7, 4, 8. All right, so let's just figure it's a 0 0.05, and that's a round trip, but let's, let's just, just use that as a number, as a reference. So um, let's do the um, so-called UHF connectors so that'll be the PL259s, SO239, some PL258. Uh, there'll be one adapter from N to SO239. Connectors installed. Again they're exactly the same length and that is about um, 21 inches. We can double check that. All right, the uh, end connectors were 0 0.05, rounding it off. So let's sweep. This will be the UHF connectors. Uh, the other was 0 0.05, the end connectors. This is 0 0.09. And let's sweep again. 0 0.086, 84, 87. So it has about twice the loss, but it's two times zero, so it's zero. This is in essence is, is zero. So let's go up in frequency. Let's try um, let's try about 60, just to pick a frequency. Now I'm on the UHF connectors, so let's leave those on. And it's tight and ready to go. Okay, so this is going to be our... Uh, reference for the UHF connectors. All right, it's 0.374. So still almost nothing. Let's try the um, end connectors, which should be less. So guessing it should be 0.1 something. Okay, here we go. This would be the end connectors at roughly 60 megahertz. Not looking for perfection, just an idea. So this was 0 0.374, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 
sweep. Uh, so it's point 0.1, so it's about a third. Yeah, it's about a third. Yeah, close enough. So at uh, six meters, there's still a really small difference. At um, this is still in the range of the top end of HF, but for some. But at 30 megahertz, uh, again, the loss was double with the uh, UHF connectors, but still it was zero. Okay, so there you have it. There's no difference between uh, a UHF connector. Uh, they call them UHF again, the PL259, SO239, that kind of thing, and an end connector. All the way up to six meters, there really is no difference. Um, if you were doing um, 440 satellite work, something like that, yeah, that's, that's really going to start to show a difference. But at HF, uh, there is no difference. In fact, just for the fun of it, let's do 20 meters. It's going to do 14 and 15. Sweep. Okay, so um, let's see which connectors have I got. These are the end connectors. So the end connectors at roughly 14 megahertz have zero loss. Let's try the... Um, UHF connectors. Okay, so I'm going to sweep the um, UHF connectors, SO239, PL258, bulkheads. I think I've got it tight enough to go. I want to, there we go, snug it up. Okay, the end connectors were 0.000. This is a 0.05. And I've done some playing around with the velocity factor for the connectors, and it ends up being about 0.6, but close enough. So let's see, 0 0.6, um, 6.4, some cables are 6.4. How much difference? 0.66. All right, so it's in that range of uh, velocity factor 0.6. So that that shows that I'm probably got this set up correctly. So close that out. So there you have it. Uh, at 20 meters, there's virtually no loss. Same thing at 10 meters, there's virtually no loss. At 6 meters, there's some loss, but it's not something that we could measure. And likely, the loss in your coax cable is going to be a lot greater than you might have in the loss of uh, the connectors. All right, there you go. Um, it was in response to several questions about, well, why not use an end connector? Because the loss is less. And some say that they only use end connectors because the loss is less. Um, I'm not seeing that. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do that. And it's been a lot of fun to do these tests. So hang in there. I've got more stuff coming as time permits. I'm Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California. Thanks for joining me in my radio room. We'll see you the next time. Bye.